Please forgive my bluntness, but I kind of just have to say this. Death is the only certainty in life. And I say that's because we've got to deal with this harsh reality. Undoubtedly, it has a profound effect on our lives and most importantly, those that are closest to us. It's what makes us live every day to the fullest, hopefully. It's what makes us love and protect our families at all costs. And it's also what makes life insurance a non-negotiable. So for the next eight weeks, we are embarking on a journey with Old Mutual to fully understand, unpack what life insurance is and how it can provide us with the ultimate peace of mind, that security during those tough times. And I think these last three years have shown us that those tough times can come from any direction. And joining me this morning is Ken Sunny Beloy, the product expert for the retail protection from Old Mutual. Ken Sunny, thank you so much for joining us. It's always a difficult one to talk about because, bam, you've got to face a person with their own mortality, and it's something that we don't want to think about. But certainly as a parent, it's something that I feel I have to do. I mentioned non-negotiable. This has to be one of those. But maybe a good place to start is to break down what life insurance actually is. So for the non-initiated, what is life insurance and how does it work? So thanks for having me, Graham. Um, it's really nice to be chatting to you. Um, so life insurance, in very simple terms, it's also called life cover, is a product that's been designed to give you and your family the peace of mind that when you die, your family will be looked after financially. And suppose you're the main breadwinner in your family, right? So when you pass away, your family won't only be emotionally affected by your death. Mm -hmm. They'll be, they'll be affected financially as well. So having life insurance basically means that you can continue providing for them even when you're gone. So think about the lifestyle that your family enjoys right now. You want to help them maintain that even when your income is no longer there. So life insurance allows, for example, for your family to continue living in the same home that you built and made beautiful memories in. It also allows for your children to stay in the same school that you picked that out for them. Yeah. Exactly, it's about the stability. And I mean, you can use life insurance for many other reasons like paying off debt that you leave behind, to help them take care of their ongoing expenses, and to also help settle estate duty costs, you know, which is something that you don't necessarily think about, but it does hit your family hard when you're no longer around. So life insurance is really about helping your family maintain the same quality of life they, that they would have enjoyed um, if you were still around to pay for it. To sum it up, it's you, it's your presence in their lives when you can't actually be there. We need to get into the practicalities of how much it can pay out and does, and when we receive that payment, how will the family be looked after once we've moved into that phase? Absolutely. So life insurance basically pays out the amount of um, cover that you agreed upon with your insurer, right? And so how you'll arrive at this amount is that you'll sit with a financial advisor and they'll be able to determine just how much cover you need. And this is by looking at your current circumstances as well as the needs of those who depend on you financially. And once you've arrived at this amount, We'll then look at you from an all mutual point of view and we'll look at your health, your lifestyle, your affordability, etc., and recommend an amount that you qualify for as well as how much you pay for that. Something that's sustainable. Exactly. So, and when you start thinking about um, life insurance, it's quite important to pause and ask yourself some very important questions that may be useful when having that conversation with your financial advisor. Huh? And these are questions like how many people depend on you financially? How will they be affected when you die? financially especially. And lastly, you can also ask yourself the question, how much cover can you actually afford to pay? All of these questions will help your financial advisor understand your needs better, and that way they they'll be able to make a recommendation that really suits your needs and your pockets. And I think that's key. You've got to find something that is sustainable, otherwise there, there is no point. It's just gonna add additional pressure. So you wanna think long-term, but you have to deal with your reality right now. And you mentioned things like estate duty can be one of those unexpected costs. And I think when we talk about a funeral, suddenly costs can escalate very quickly. Is funeral cover the same as life insurance? Or what is the difference between the two? 
So, Graham, these two products do often get confused. And although both are a very important part of every financial plan and both pay out when the insured person dies, but they actually work differently and they serve different purposes, right? So, let's chat a bit about funeral insurance first. Okay. So, funeral insurance is a product that's designed to help your family meet their shorter term financial needs. And these are needs relating to, you know, immediate funeral expenses like paying for the coffin, um, catering, you know, transporting family members to the funeral and so on and the maximum cover amount that you can get on funeral insurance is a hundred thousand rand life insurance on the other hand has been designed to meet your family's longer term financial okay. goals and this payout starts at a hundred thousand rand and can go up to as much as you qualify for okay. sometimes even in the millions and if your family needs um, a, a regular monthly income to see to their ongoing financial expenses then they you can choose a product that pays out a monthly income that starts at 3,000 Rand and again can go up to as much as you qualify for. When approaching, you know, the decision making as to which one do you need, where do you start, where do you, start you know, do you need a combination, it's always advisable to reach out to an accredited financial advisor who will do a very thorough financial needs analysis and recommend a product that suits your needs. And for anyone who's watching and doesn't have access to a financial advisor, I encourage you to please visit our website on omutual.co.za forward slash life or phone 0860 60 60 60 to speak to one. Oh, we'll definitely keep those details up on all of our social media platforms as well. Thank you so much. I actually feel a lot more comfortable about this. Um, <laughs> I absolutely love the fact that we are just talking about this. And as I said, as a parent now to two young children, this has a whole different level of importance. And when I'm not there, I want to ensure that they will be looked after. So thank you to you and your team for engaging with this journey with us. And hopefully we will make you feel more comfortable about having this conversation with the important people in your life so you can plan together and be informed. Life insurance is the ultimate peace of mind that will financially protect your family when you no longer can do it yourself. So get the conversation started in your own space. Engage with the old mutual team. They're already, as Kinsani said, you can give them a shout to 0860 60 60 60. It's as easy as that, or you can go and check out their website, oldmutual.co.za. Then, of course, make sure you join us again next week, Tuesday, when we're going to take a slightly deeper look into how life insurance can be extended to cover your family and your specific needs. This has been a great start to what I hope will be a very enriching conversation to you guys at home. So I hope that the emotional side of it has been dulled just a little bit, and you can start thinking about the numbers and the importance of making this investment in your family's future. The people we love are the ones that need us most. That's why I took out life insurance from Old Mutual, so he'll always get what he needs, even if I'm not there. Speak to your advisor and help your family get ahead of life.